as we know there's a lot of trends going on right now basically everything is trending and i think it's such a fun time to be able to find your personal style and lean into that basically what this video is going to be is me breaking down trends or styles that I'm really excited to wear for 2023. Next week, I'm going to be dropping either a thrifting the 2023 fashion trends or styling the 2023 fashion trends. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first trend that I'm super excited about is this mermaid aesthetic siren core vibes. Basically, it's a lot of fun textures, crochet, lots of cool like oceanic metallic colors just like spicy nautical vibes this style just makes me feel like very sexy yet very like ethereal a little magical it's a really fun trend that i feel like you could incorporate in so many different ways in your personal style another style that i am super excited to see in 2023 is this like old money like coquette style i think this is so fun this reminds me very much of like lana del rey and her born to die phase it's giving very much like i own a home in bel-air it's like gossip girl vibes but better when i think of this style i think of like hyper feminine but more on a like dramatic elegant level so ruffled socks fun platform mary jane's tweed bows and i feel like you could do so much with this you could keep this more of like the elegant side of things more chic or you could take this towards like kind of like a campier side of things where you could get really fun with this i feel like this makes me feel like i'm playing dress up i just love a reason to like flex my feminine muscles you know what i mean and i don't think i'm gonna be able to get through this video without mentioning this one ballet core is taking the world by storm right now this has been going on for quite some time i feel like a lot of these trends have and they're like bleeding into 2023 i love this aesthetic and style because it's so nostalgic for me i love putting on leg warmers, putting a little bow in my hair, wearing a onesie with a little bolero on top. Like this is just like healing my inner child in and of itself. And I love it. I love how in fashion we take little bits and pieces from different arts or sports and we make it into something that like everyone can kind of tap into, even though you might not participate in the hobby itself. I think it's so fun. Next up we have like indie sleeves slash like I'm calling this like dark feminine. It's giving lover girl entering her villain era. We saw once again the kind of rise of indie sleaze a little bit in 2022, kind of airing towards Tumblr fashion. Mostly like black, a little edgy, but also some like ultra feminine twists on the outfits. I am just obsessed with this. Like I said, it's it's giving dark feminine. That's exactly what this is like embodying for me. I've definitely been reaching for more like all black outfits lately. I, I love a dark vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I love a little spookiness. I also feel like the show Wednesday, absolutely loved that show, by the way. I was eating that up. I feel like because that show gained so much traction and so much popularity, I feel like that also kind of fed into like this dark feminine indie sleaze kind of vibe. Another big trend that we saw definitely in 2022, but is now becoming more prevalent in 2023, is this kind of like 90s basic aesthetic. When you think back to the 90s and what people were wearing just on the street to run errands, that's pretty much what this style is. It's a lot of really nice denim, basic white or black t-shirts, Kate Moss model off-duty type shit. Rachel Berry and Monica Geller from Friends. I personally am always down with the 90s vibe. I don't know if it's because I'm a 90s baby. I just love the fashion in the 90s. I feel like it's so wearable. And I also feel like it's very sustainable. Like all of these things you could wear over and over again. They can go with so many other trends. They can stay in your closet. You'll keep reaching for them. At least that's the case for me. But I think they are like a lot of really nice basics oversized leather jacket things like that so now that i've gone through the general styles that i'm excited for i want to talk about specific clothing items or accessories that are trending that maybe don't fall into a specific category of styles but are definitely being worn by a lot of people right now first on the list is bows obviously you can add them to your hair people are wearing them around their necks this is another trend that's very nostalgic for me i'm 26 now if you're my age i feel like a lot of our trends are fully cycling 
cycling back because the trend cycles are 20 years, right? So now that we're in our like mid to late 20s, we're seeing these trends from when we were younger start to come back and seeing them like evolve into like an adult version. I just feel like it's so fun. It's like all the stuff that we used to play dress up with is like now something we can actually wear in our everyday lives, like out to dinner, <laughs> slay. Another clothing item that I'm absolutely obsessed with right now that looks like it's here to stay for the foreseeable future is relaxed denim. Love a good low rise moment. You guys know that, but I especially love relaxed denim. I feel like it's so comfortable. It's like the sweatpants of jeans. This is a really fun, approachable style that you could wear with a lot of things. Also, you could do the baggy on baggy look and it is an absolute vibe. Like if you did an oversized leather jacket with baggy denim and like a tiny cami underneath, Flawless. Oh, this next one, I just, this is a bit of me, babes. Well, I guess they all are because I'm just mentioning the ones that I want to wear, but pointed toe shoes. I love a pointed toe shoe. I personally always wear pointed toe shoes. I know a lot of people always wear pointed toe shoes, but this is specifically becoming more prevalent in 2023, especially relaxed denim with pointed toe shoes, which is an outfit combo that I've been putting together a lot recently. I just think it's so fun to have the contrast of like a boyish baggy outfit with a pointed toe shoe. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of this with the boots. We already have been. I also love just like a classic pointed toe pump. Mm, it just adds cut. You know what I mean? It just gives what it needs to give. This next one has been talked about a lot. Maxi skirts. Not just like your plain Jane maxi skirt that you're thinking of in your head, okay? I'm talking denim maxi skirts, fun ruffly maxi skirts. I think like a mixture of high-waisted and low-waisted are going to be around, but I do love a low waisted vibe babes especially with a maxi skirt i have been on the hunt for a low-rise maxi skirt in my size at a thrift store for months girlies months please send the thrift gods some good juju for me because the next time i go to the thrift store i want to absolutely pop off with some maxi skirts i just feel like you can pair so many things with these you can dress them up you can dress them down with a pointed toe heel they look so divine as much as i am a pants girly i love me a good skirt and i am really getting into the maxi skirt thing and i hope it's here to stay for a while because i feel like it's a very comfortable and fun trend that we can all participate in. And then last but not least, this has also been talked about a lot, the mesh or lace or really just like sheer see-through clothing situation. I think this is so hot. I think it's so sick. Any reason for us to like show more of our skin and for it to be socially acceptable, like I'm always gonna be here for. I'm always gonna be waving the green flag. Why not? Okay, fashion's supposed to be fun. It's not always supposed to be functional. And I feel like this still can be functional, especially for a girl like me who lives in Florida. There are a lot of times where I wanna wear like a long sleeve outfit, but it's fucking hot out, okay? And I don't wanna sweat out my weave in the name of fashion, although I will. I've also been seeing a lot of people in gorgeous lace, especially with like that dark feminine, like indie sleaze vibe I was talking about. I just think it's stunning. I think it's so gorgeous. I love like the fun feminine spins that we have on all of these little trends. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fun ideas for how to style yourself in 2023. Please let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a thrift with me for 2023 trends video and or a styling the 2023 trends video. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, same username, also on my like to know it. That's where I tag all of my outfits and everything that I mention on my social media channels. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.